You've been looking for some new lunch inspiration, so today I'm excited to share three protein-packed wrap recipes that I think you're going to love. I'm going to show you my crunchy protein power wrap, a tangy Thai tofu wrap, and finally a Philly cheese wrap that is to die for. What I love about these wraps is not only are they super nutritious, they're also extra portable, so they're great for busy people on the go. Let's get started with our crunchy protein power wrap. So this wrap starts with some canned salmon. You could also use canned tuna in this recipe or even some cooked shredded chicken would work just as well. To that, I am adding one egg that I've hard boiled and give it a chop to. And then I'm going to combine it with a couple tablespoons of tasty hummus. This is a great replacement for mayonnaise in things like chicken salad or tuna salad. We're gonna spread this mixture on our tortilla and then we are going to top it with some crunch. In this case, I am using some red bell pepper, some cucumber, and some shredded carrot. I'm using whole wheat tortilla. You could definitely use gluten-free tortillas if you wanted to, or if you're going completely grain-free, you could also use a lettuce wrap. That would work just as well. We're going to wrap this up, cut it in half, and it is ready to eat. How great does that look? Next up is our tangy Thai tofu wrap. Now, if you're not into tofu, do not fret. You could do this very same recipe with some chicken or some salmon. Both would work just as well. We're going to start by mixing up a really simple tangy Thai sauce. All I'm going to do is combine some peanut butter, some lime juice, some soy sauce, some honey, a little bit of fresh ginger, and some red chili flakes in a bowl. I'm going to dilute it with a little bit of water and give it a good whisk. And you can almost immediately recognize the wonderful smell of Thai cuisine. It's that beautiful peanut mixed with that ginger. All we're going to do is use this gorgeous mixture to marinate our tofu. I am using organic pressed tofu because I find it has the best texture, but you could really use any kind of tofu you like. I've also left a little bit of my dressing set aside so I can toss in some of my veggies. I am using some shredded red cabbage, some shredded carrot, and some finely chopped red bell pepper. Now you wanna marinate your tofu for at least 30 minutes, but overnight is ideal. Once it's been marinated, you can just lay it on a parchment lined baking sheet and bake it at 375 for about 20 minutes. Once your tofu is finished baking, you wanna let it cool completely and then you can place it on your tortilla. You're going to top this with your tangy Thai slaw and then you're just going to wrap this baby up. Tofu is fantastic in a recipe like this because it really just absorbs whatever flavors you put it in. Finally, I wanna share with you my recipe for my Philly cheese wrap. The best part about this recipe is that it can be made with some cooked chicken or some roast beef, whatever you prefer. So to get started, I've got some oil heating up in my frying pan on the stove. To that, I'm going to add some red onion, some green bell pepper, and some chopped mushrooms. I'm going to saute these for between five and seven minutes until they've completely softened and the mushrooms are starting to brown. To this, I'm going to add my cooked chicken, some garlic powder, some salt and pepper, and finally, some hot sauce if you love the heat. I'm going to stir this all together really well, cook it for another minute, and then it's time to build my wrap. So on my whole wheat tortilla, I've got two pieces of provolone cheese. You can really use any kind of cheese you want, but if you wanna be a Philly cheese purist, provolone is the way to go. We're going to top our provolone with our yummy chicken mixture, wrap it up, and it is ready to serve. How good does that look? The best part about all three of these wraps is that they can be put together two to three days in advance and live in your fridge until you're ready to eat them. I hope you'll give these tasty recipes a try, and if you do, be sure to tweet or Instagram me a photo because you know I love seeing what you're coming up with in your very own kitchens. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to The Domestic Geek because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.